I used to spend the night in hotel parking lots. What was I gonna do? I ain't had nowhere to stay, so I lived in the car. I had $35. And I said, come on, God, man, I've been trying to make this dream come true. You done left me out here like this. And I was crying so hard that he just said, I didn't like hear a voice or nothing, but he spoke to me and however he said, if you get up, I'm gonna take you places you ain't never been. Now I was finna quit. So I said, skip it. I'm gonna quit anyway. So I got in my car, I went to a pay phone and I was gonna call my dad. You remember back in the day where you could punch in a code and call your answering machine and get your messages? So I called and I punched in the code and the, he said, Doop. he said, hey, Steve, this is Chuck Sutton with Showtime at the Apollo. We saw a tape of you. You're very funny. If you could get here Sunday night, uh, we'd love to put you on television. Listen, getting successful, whatever you consider successful, if it's rich, whatever, it's not a magic trick. It's not God picks certain people he'll make rich and certain people he don't. He gives all of us as his children the power of choice. You have a say-so in that. You can decide to be rich. And with God's help, it's highly doable. But you first have to think it. The difference between successful people and non-successful people is here. I'm no better than none of y'all. I'm not a better person than you. I'm not a better Christian than you. God don't love me more than you. None of that. If you want to be successful, you have to change this. I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. Nothing. Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. Now, I'm sure in your experiences in school and applying to college and picking your major and deciding what you want to do with life, I'm sure people have told you to make sure you have something to fall back on. Make sure you got something to fall back on, honey. But I never understood that concept, having something to fall back on. If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything. I want to fall forward. I figure at least this way I'll see what I'm going to hit. I don't know what the secret of success is, but here's what I know what the secret of failure is trying to please everybody. You can be world class, you can fit in with the world, you don't get to do both. If you want to have the results, only 5% of the population has you've got to be willing to think and behave like only 5% of the population. And if you do these kinds of things, the world will call you eccentric. This is where you got to develop the interior core, where it doesn't matter if people call you crazy. One of the things limiting you from your income, your impact, a world-class life you care too much about what people think about you. Sounds really obvious. Everyone has an opinion. Why let the opinions of other people deny you from a life that will make history? Says Steve Harvey, this is Tom Sobel from the Comedy Caravan. I had, this was a Thursday. He said, I have a gig in Jacksonville, Florida on Friday night that pays $150. If you can get there Friday night, you'll make $150. So I, I called him back and I said, hey Tom, did you get a gig away? He said, no, it's still available. He said, can you get that? I said, I'm in Pensacola, Florida. I'm three and a half hours away. So I drive to Jacksonville, Florida, and that night I killed, I made the 150. Club owner said, man, you funnier than the guy we hired. If you stay tomorrow night, I'm gonna give you another $150. I called Chuck Sutton. I said, hey man, is the gig still available at Showtime at the Apollo? He said, yeah, we got one opening left. I said, I'll be there. The Bible says a man is as he thinketh. God created us in his image. God thought of this world. He thought of it, so he created it. So he made you just like him, that your thoughts can create things. 
He made you just like him. Now you can't go make earth and heaven like he did, but you can make a better world for yourself. There is a scripture, Habakkuk 2 and 2. It says, write the vision and make it plain so that he who reads it will run to it. And even though it tarry, tarry means take a long time, wait for it, for surely it will come at an appointed time. That's in the Bible. That ain't in the rich people's copy. <laughs> That's in everybody, everybody's Bible. The problem is everybody don't do it. But here's the thing. I didn't quit. I didn't fall back. I walked out of there to prepare for the next audition and the next audition and the next audition. I prayed. I prayed and I prayed. But I continued to fail and fail and fail. But it didn't matter because you know what? There's an old saying, you hang around the barbershop long enough, sooner or later you're going to get a haircut. So you will catch a break, and I did catch a break. For those of us who get up and go out, you got something to say about how we do what we're doing. Stop talking to us who are performing. Stop telling us what to do and how to do it. You keep gossiping, and I'll keep working. You keep talking smack, and I'll keep working. You keep focusing on everyone else, and I'll keep working. And when you finally look around at where you are and where I'm at, you'll realize that you have nothing left to talk smack about and you will lose and I will win. You don't have time to worry about anybody else's course because it's gonna take all your energy, all of your intensity, all of your fervency to keep yourself on track. That's why it's important for you to work on yourself, listening to tapes, building yourself up, talking to yourself with power, feeling and conviction. Day in and day out, you've had to focus on you. So I stayed out there. I did the warm up and the host. And I created a bond with that audience. And that's how I got on TV. It was my very first TV show. I hosted Showtime at the Apollo. I ended up being the longest running host in the history of Showtime Apollo. I did that show for eight years. See, in your life, everybody has a turn back moment. You have a moment where you can go forward or you can give up. But the thing you have to keep in mind before you give up is that if you give up, the guarantee is it will never happen. That's the guarantee of quitting, that it will never happen, no way under the sun. The only way the possibility remains that it can happen is if you never give up no matter what.